Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Today, we're going to be taking a look at a fat mat by Table War. And this is the uh, 6x3 double-sided mat. And this one is featuring uh, the dungeon floor and cobble town. And, uh, and it comes in this great little case here. We're going to uh, open this thing up. We're going to take a look at it. Uh, and yeah, and I'm also going to be announcing uh, some giveaway winners at the end of the video. So make sure you watch all the way until the end. And if you don't win this one... There's plenty more opportunities to win. Just be subscribed and leave a comment letting me know your preferred play mat. Let me know which one you think is better. Um, so yeah, so first thing I want to talk about is this particular mat uh, comes with a really nice carrying case. Uh, I, I like this. It's got a zipper going along the sides. You can carry it here as well as it has a little hook here. So in case you need to like hang it up, you can hang it from that hook, which is really nice. It's got also like a, a, another not hook, but like loop-de strap here as well. And you have this uh, nice little tag that's going to let you know what's inside this particular mat, as well as some information on the backhand side where you can write your information. So in case you do bring this to your game store and you accidentally leave it there, somebody can contact you and say, hey, you left your mat here, which is pretty nice. This mat uh, did run me $110 and then $10 more for shipping. So this is a neoprene mat and uh, it was kind of expensive. Let's, uh, let's open this thing up. All right, here it is. This is a full six by three. Uh, it's sometimes nice to have a full blown mat instead of two three by threes together so you don't get that little, um, you know, that little divot in the center or getting them where they're harder to line up. Uh, it's uh, very cool. It does have rounded corners, though, as you can see right here. It is a rounded corner, but, uh, but yeah, it's pretty, though. And uh, let's take a look. And I believe this is Cobble Town. It's like a town ruins, and it has, like, some cobblestone in the center. So here we are taking kind of a closer look at some of the detail on this part of the map. Uh, I was looking for something, you know, I've been building towards a Naboo playmat for Star Wars Legion or a Naboo terrain. And I thought cobblestone would have been pretty good because I was looking for some kind of brick road type of something that would work for that old rustic kind of deal. Also for Marvel Crisis Protocol, um, wanted something I could use for that uh, that would work for, uh, for, for Asgard. And I think... This is definitely something that will fit the bill. Obviously, Crisis Protocol is only played on a three by three, so I could just simply mark off the sides and something like that. Um, but yeah, really cool. He got some of the hay or like, so, or no, that's, I think that's wood from some destroyed building. He's got some wreckage for destroyed buildings. Uh, and you've got uh, this beautiful cobblestone area right in the center. Really nice. Now, one of the things about a piece like this, I think that's uh, interesting is, you know, this can guide you on where you want to place some terrain. You might want to leave that, that uh, like this area here open. Um, you might not want to put terrain there. And some people, you know, you may want to, like there are some natural roads here. So you might want to, you know, kind of base your terrain around that. But that could also be a negative for some folks. You might not want to have that in your terrain. Now also you do get the uh, Table War logo here at the bottom. It's not, you know, kind of have a little, it's not, but it's not too intrusive. It is there. Um, we can flip this thing over. Now it is double-sided. So if we come over here, we're gonna see about how thick it is. It's standard neoprene. Now this is mouse pad material. So you're gonna, you know, this is nothing outside of the norm. And we'll flip this thing over and we've got that dungeon floor in the bottom. All right, so this is the dungeon floor. This is a little bit more um, open-ended, so you're a little, you have a lot more flexibility on just how you want to, like, there's no roads, there's no, like, hey, you shouldn't put something here, you should put something there. If we get real down close to it, we can see um, a lot of this, uh, this pattern. It's very pretty. It's got a kind of a darker blue. It's like, like almost a blue stone, like a bluish gray. And I'm really digging that. 
Really digging that. And I think either one of these could really work for, for Naboo. I think the other one will probably work a little bit better. This one might even be better for Asgard or something like that, but it works for just about anything. You can use this for uh, dungeon crawl too, if you're going for like some kind of D and D, like an actual dungeon dungeon. And uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's the same thing as the other one. It's pretty easy to flip them as well. So yeah, I'm digging this side. And then uh, flipping them is is simple. That's one of the things I love about neoprene is it's it's, it's super simple, lays totally flat. It's just as simple as that. I I, I love that. Um, overall, uh, I feel like these two sides were a little similar. I, I, my, I guess my, my feedback would be, I, I, I kind of wish that they had different options that you could like choose and pick and choose which sides. Cause I might've gone with like cobblestone and something that was a little more drastically different. Cause I feel like they're both stone and kind of dark. I might've gone with like a brighter desert on the other side, or maybe even space on the other side. Cause I don't have a three by six for any, for any like for Armada or Epic X-Wing or anything like that. So it would have been cool to have like one game on one side and one game on another side. Or maybe like oceans for any kind of naval games you have on one side and maybe like grass on the other side or something like that. So that would be uh, one piece of feedback. But it's a, it's a real nice mat. It's, it's, uh, it's a little bit thin. It's not too bad. It comes with that great carrying case as well. And uh, yeah, it's, I, I, I do definitely like the material. It lays really, really flat. Um, it's it's beautiful. I, I, I'm very pleased and I can't wait to start using them in some battle reports and uh, You know folding it over you can really get a good picture of the uh, the whole double-sided aspect of it. Very very cool. I Also want to congratulate Thrawn the last command you are the winner of the $25 Amazon gift card So you can get an expansion of your choice All you have to do is just contact me on the back end of my channel and I'll get your contact information We'll square you away just mail at at gmail.com also, if you didn't win this giveaway, stay tuned. There will be more coming up very soon. Uh, there's one right now on Patreon for a Krennic promo as well as three Krennic command card promos from Gen Con. So if you are interested in becoming a patron, there will be links to that in the description below. Big thanks to all of my patrons. You guys are amazing. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.